All right. Let's take a look at how uh, learning about rates and knowing our algebra uh, will actually help us save us money uh, in the future. Okay, so this is the most common thing that you'll probably deal with on a daily basis going to a grocery store and you're going to see that they have certain rates that are out there. So for example, you see milk and it's for sale for four liter of milk for $4.50. And pop might be on sale for a 24 pack for say $9.99. The question is, is how much are you paying per liter of milk and how much are you paying for every can of, per can of pop? So let's take a look at an example here. So what we've got here is we've got four liters of milk, which equals four dollars and fifty cents out of your pocket. Now, what if you look at this? This just looks like a basic algebra equation right now. The L is just our variable. Okay, so instead of uh, we're trying to figure out how to find out how much a liter is, we're just going to use L as our variable. So four times L uh, is going to equal. Uh, uh, four dollars and fifty cents so we're going to find out how much a liter is so the way we do that just basic algebra if this is four times l we're simply just going to go divide both sides by four and l equals 1.125 now we're dealing with currency here so uh, we can't leave it in a, a thousand so we're going to have to round that so therefore you're paying approximately Uh, one dollar and thirteen cents per liter for milk. Okay, uh, so why is that important? Well, let's take a look at another example here where we're actually comparing something. Okay, you're gonna have to bear with me for a bit here because uh, my board's acting a little funky right now. It's uh, not uncommon. Uh, anyway, um, let's say you went to the grocery store and you wanted to buy some uh, paper towel. And you can buy the paper towel. You have three different uh, choices. You can get a two-roll pack for 99 cents. You get a six-roll pack for $3.99. Or you get 12 rolls for $4.99. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can calculate this. One is that you can find the individual cost per unit. So in other words, per roll price. And we know how to do that already because if we, uh, just for example here, let's choose this one, six rolls for $3.99. All we can say is, well, six rolls or six times R will equal $3.99. And all we have to do is divide both sides by six to get our one unit price, okay? That would be one way of doing it. That is a very simple way to do it, and then we can compare the per unit price of the three different rolls. But there's another thing that's at play here. What we see is that these here are multiples of each other. So if you simply multiply this out, so 2 times uh, 6 is going to give us 12, and 6 times 2 is going to give us 12. So if we just simply take the price and multiply it so that we have our lowest common multiple here, we're going to find out what the price is. So for let's take a look at uh, the first one, for example. So if we have uh, 99 cents times, uh, sorry, not 99 cents. We have 99, 99 cents is our price, and we uh, for, for a price for two, and uh, we multiply that by 6. Oh, my board is driving me crazy. All right, 99 cents to multiplied by 6. So let's see here. Net 0. Point, oh, my goodness. Nine nine times 6 is going to give us a price of approximately six dollars okay approximately not exactly because it's slightly less than that it would be about uh, five dollars and uh, uh, five dollars and ninety four cents approximately okay 
but we're just using this as an example. Well, when we compare that to our 12 roll price, we can see that clearly the 12 roll price is going to be better because when we take this and we multiply it out to give us 12 rolls, that price is going to be much more expensive than if we buy a 12 roll pack. So we know that we are in fact saving money by buying 12 rolls. Now, the question is, is if we multiply all of these out, are we going to get the same result? So there's a couple different ways of calculating it out. We could find the individual per unit price for each rule, or we can simply say, hey, we can uh, find a uh, common multiple here, multiply it out, and that way we can determine the total cost and compare the total cost to each other. All right, we'll check out some additional videos on rate.